here we are. Lightning makes a decision. The Pulse Falci transformed her and Sarah into Lissy. The Sanctum Falci, Eden, directs the army hunting her down. The Sanctum Falci. What is this? Pulse or Sanctum Falci means one thing to Lightning. Pulse Sanctum Cocoon? So what is Sanctum then? This is where it gets fucking confusing. Holy Lord. The more I look at that, the more confused I am. Scavenger's Trail. This is one of my favorite parts of the early story. Look at the goddamn faces. Those look so good. Look at her. Look at the hair just wiggling and wab waving. Wabbing and waving. This game was originally going to come out in PS2. I mentioned before that the, when you have a scene with a lot of different extras, a lot of different NPCs. Fuck you guys. I don't care about you guys. I'm lightning, goddammit. Hmm. What's this thing? Calm down. Huh? Calm down. Oh, all that is is a little item box. We're not too worried about that. Yeah, so when you have these scenes with like lots of um extras. When they do the rip the the scene at the lake and when they showed lightning getting on no oh, not gonna run that thing lightning getting onto the train the character models look I think they look very ps2 very very flat how the ps2 character models used to look because they obviously put all the money and the budget into making the main the main crew look really good you know lightning and hope snow Saz, vanille what's this thing's deal any weaknesses hmm Well, we need to go rav rav. That's what we need to do. We need to dual cast it. Oh shit! That's right. Good job, Hope. Way to take the way to take the power. Yeah, take the power back. Stagger time. Let's pummel this butt in the butt. Launch it. So how do you do a launch? Attack blitz? Is it just an attack? Nope. Attack just hits it. How about Blitz? Well, that did tons of damage. Holy fucking lord. We're gonna kill this guy before he kills our boy. That worked. Five stars. Thank you very much. Off we go. This music is creepy. Those are pretty cool weapons. They look like something a futuristic police would have. It's like, um, um, it almost looks like a baton, you know, like a club a, a policeman would have that they would throw down. That they'd sort of shake down and then it would stick out to be a club, but it's also a shotgun. It is weird when they stand really close together but don't attack each other. Like when he's standing right behind me. But it's turn-based, so he has to wait his, his for his turn. He's really got to think about it. You're dead, my friend. Didn't even wait for that third bar to fill up. Five stars! You seem to get stars probably based on how fast you beat them. What's Psycom doing here? Probably thought we'd try and use a pulse machine to escape. Maybe we should try it. What does this do? Hey, you're gonna hurt yourself. Don't touch that. Lightning Wait, being a mom. What if it works? Leave it. I told you to leave it. Stop. Stop already. I think I got it. Wait, I think I can work this. I'm gonna stare at this wall and try not to punch him in the face. This is one of the few classic Final Fantasy mini games you get to do. So you have this certain amount of power, and you can only attack when you have power built up, and you get power by walking through these electric fences. So you would think, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to plan my strategy out. So 
and I have three power, so I'm going to try and make it so that I can attack the most guys at once, right? It doesn't really matter, because you can just walk through them anyway. So it's just this meaningless me uh, minigame that is, is fun in a way that it's like a power fantasy of, I get to be really powerful, all these guys I was avoiding, fuck you. But... You could, you could just use all your attacks at once, you could just not use any of your attacks and it wouldn't make any fucking difference. And where's lightning? I see hope. Don't see lightning. I mean, this is fun. Whee! I like that they... These guys don't run away either. Oh, they must be robots. And that was it. Probably could have made that more of a game. And Lane just walks behind. See? And they don't even have, like... Uh-oh. And that's why you don't play with machines. This is how it's done, kid. Let's get moving. Just need a minute. I'm still a bit winded. You're too soft. Uh, wait up! <laughs> This is one of my favorite duos now. That's a cool thing about Lightning is that you put her with any annoying character and she just treats them exactly how they should be treated. Okay, why did they give us those things? I feel like there's a boss battle or something coming up. Hope you find another one of those things. <laughs> That's a nice line. Because if he was a kid, he would want to find another one. He would want to have some fun with it. That's the first nice thing that happened to him the whole time, where he probably forgot about how shitty it is, his normal life. Let's upgrade their shit. At least lightning stuff will upgrade. Do the accessory, actually. The... The one that... Oh, there we go. Yeah, this one. Oh, it's not even on her. What's the one she's wearing? This one. Thickened hides. Oh, yeah. That's fucking great. Oh, baby. Does he have one? Yeah. Oh, he's got the worst one. We gotta get him going. That's fair. But I don't... I mean, the reason I'm a little bit reluctant to upgrade a lot of his stuff is I I only use him if I, if I have to. Oh, running the wrong way, dummy. Good thing they had that there. I, or I would have just kept walking and walking and running back. No. They give up. It's late. They want to go home. They can just call in and say, Oh yeah, they got away. I guess we'll go back in now. Have a sandwich. It is so dark, I can barely see where I'm going. I'm just staring at this map. And the map tells you where the enemies are. It would probably be more exciting if the map didn't have the enemies on it. Then it would be a surprise when you came around the corner and saw them. But now I know that there's three there, or a zero here, so why don't I just go this way? God damn it! That didn't work, did it? Alright, these guys are nice and easy to take down at least. I like that thing. She doesn't waste that third attack. That's also new, too. From what I understand. I didn't play Final Fantasy XII, but I know in Final Fantasy X, I believe you only had the one attack. But this one lets you queue up the multiple attacks. Oh, shit. Which is nice, because you're only controlling the one person, so you, at least you still have you know, three different actions or four different actions you can play with. 
because if you only hit the one, that would actually be pretty boring. I wonder if they decided, okay, we're going to have you just control one person, and then they thought it was boring, so they added the extra attacks you could do in one turn. That would make a lot of sense. What's this thing weak to? Thunder! Oh, yeah. We are thundering its ass off. I'm doing 120 to his little 70. What's it doing to us, though? When do we need to medic up him? Um, he can take at least one more of those blasts. Medic him. Oh, but we don't have a... We haven't been committed. Ah, fuck. I don't have, like, a life restore. Lame. Get up, you punk. So all those Ravager ones, I was just wasting. This guy's doing some big damage, actually. Okay, he's doing 80 damage. Can we heal up? And then switch to Ravi Ravi? Do we have time? Nope. You fucked that. Oh yeah, you did. That's fine. No problem. It's a very fast system, which is very nice. Because if every time you switch to Medic, you lost that bar going down, that would not be very fun, would it? even as that bar shifts down, I feel like I'm losing it. But I think, I mean, in the time, like, you see how long it takes the bar to fill up? It almost is, like, faster if you just switch to the Commander Ravager. From Ravager Ravager. When you switch your paradigms, it seems like you get the full bar. Maybe that's just based on the time that it takes to fill up? Or they just give you a full bar anyway. That'd be another interesting thing to mess around with. They even tell you when a cutscene's coming with a yellow exclamation point. This isn't working. Huh? I mean your liability. You'll just slow me down. What? I'm sorry, but I can't protect you when uh, You can't leave me here. You've got to take me with you. Enough. The whole world is against us. I can barely keep myself alive, let alone some helpless kid! I don't have time to baby you. You want to get tough? Do it on your own! Don't say the word tough. That's the last thing his mom said before she died. <laughs> Lightning just runs forward. I'm out of here, kid. This Deal with this thing. Happen. Look who's being a mom. Don't mess with my little kid. Doom! Okay, what's this guy's thing? I don't know. Is it like a guard? Oh, fuck. Ah, fucking shit. Holy lord. This thing is beating the piss out of me. Yeah, there you go. Let's medic up. How the hell do we beat this thing? So with the Eidolons, you have to find whatever it is is making that Gestalt ability go up. So attacking it is not really making it go up. Holy fucking shit. How about medicking? Um, not really. Maybe like a synergist thing? Okay, that's not good. Now he's got the shield. Huh. 
Jesus Christ. Okay, all we can do is try to stay alive at this point. Probably have to hit him when he's got the shield up. So I think... I think then we just do the normal attack. Do the commando and then the rav-rav. But the problem is this little bitch keeps dying. And we don't have... Ah, oh, fucking shit. But I don't have the rav... Um, Rav Medic is what we need. Ah, there we go. We got it anyway. Or at least he's turning into a beautiful mechanical horse. Unicorn. With two horns that are actually ears. That's a pretty badass looking gestalt. Alright, I was a little worried there. That thing was doing a lot of damage. If we didn't upgrade Hope... Oh yeah, one more ATB gauge. That's great. Then we have the summon. I don't know if you can hear my cat. Your brand looks different. Was that an Idolan? Like Lasekin's An Idolan. Magic and mumbo jumbo. <laughs> I must have hit my head on that purge train. What do you mean magic? You just saw it happen. You just fought it. Um, am I really in your way? <sighs> I'll do better. I'll try harder. I'll <sighs> just die already. We'll toughen you up. Aww. Huh? I'm sorry about before. <laughs> See, these are definitely the best parts. The relationships. I give a lot of shit to the story when they start talking about the sanctum, foul sea, pulse, cocoon. But that was great. Lightning's going through a lot of changes. It would make sense that she would want to ditch this kid. She's worried about herself. She's worried about dying. She's worried about... Sarah, most of all, now she has to worry about this kid. Here's another cutscene. Got my back? Yeah. Ah, that's a nice moment. Alright, let's summon this thingy. Yeah, I gotcha. Gestalt mode. Skip it. Mm, summon, baby. Here he comes. I choose you. So I think the trick with this guy is that his bar will slowly de uh, deplete and you can do these different moves. No, no, he will actually just like fight alongside you. And then you sort of watch his little meter. Where's what's his nuts? Why is Hope gone? That's weird. Is he even doing a lot of damage? Not really. He's blocking, though. That's super useful. So strange. Where is Hope? That makes no sense at all. And then you watch his little number, his big number, become little. And then once that gets just close to the bottom, then you go, Gestalt Mode! We do this together. And then you hop on him and you ride him like a donkey. And then the same thing happens. The the points go down. And um, I don't really know the strategy here. There, you know, there are some things in this game that are just in the game, and you don't really know why. Okay, so I'm doing. I don't know if these are good strategies to use or not. Alright, now I'm down to three points. Now I have one point left, so I'm just going to do the all-point thing. Because last time I did that right at the beginning, and I used up all the points. You only get to do it once. 
It looks cool and it staggered them, so that's useful. Until next time. See you later, magical horse. And then hope comes back. So by try harder, he means he was just going to hide out. Oh, I have to remember, after this battle, I need to set up a paradigm formation so that... Um, so I have a... What is it? A commando and a medic. That's what I need. So we can go commando rav to build up the stagger. And then we can go rav rav to get the stagger up really high. And then we can go commando medic to start doing some damage but healing. Let's do that right now. Another five star. We'll stop here. Sorry. Don't sweat it. Look how much hope has grown. You rest up. He's <laughs> gonna hurt his neck, Lightning. Support his head. That was great. God, I like the the animation they catch in Lightning's eyes. The way when he says mom and her eyes sort of open up just a little bit. That's going to do it. That was a really uh, really fun episode. A lot of great things happened to um, to Lightning and, and uh, what's his name? Hope. We saw them grow a bit. Hope is, has stopped whining and now he realizes he does need them and he's trying to be useful. Lightning was going to help him and then was going to run away and leave when it got too hard. And then when the Gestalt was going to strike him down, she saved him. Again, because it came from her. So she probably felt partially responsible. That was great. So we'll have another one up for you pretty soon. And bye for now.